It's good to see you ready to travel the universe. All of these worlds made by others just like you. So much to explore. So much to create. The universe is waiting for you to bring it to life. Stories yet to be told, the games to be made, civilizations and societies to be formed. So, what kind of spark are you? Player, creator, or both? Ah, but whatever you choose, there's a universe of possibilities. Now, how do we begin? Hello guys, this is Ryu Art. And I'm bringing you the Spark Project Beta. Um, in the E3 last year, 2013, yeah, when you saw the the Xbox One reveal and everything else, uh, there was that game that uh, it kind of reminded me a little bit of RPG Maker with um what sony did um little little big planet i think that's what it's called um and so um, this is um microsoft's answer to that they wanted to make a game where you can make any game and that's what uh, interests me about this game um it's limitless you you literally have no bounds I mean, you know, after you acquire a lot of things. Um, actually, it uh, is like tutorials that teach you how to, as you progress, um, how to make new items. I'm sorry, how to make new. First, you start with the world. Then they give you characters with already behave behaviors, and then you get to um, affect that behavior or change it. Um, you also get to design the world, um, change the mechanics, um, change how it looks. Uh, later on, I believe not in the beta, but later on, the, you'll be able to put your own your own music um, and dialogue. Uh, and um, at the moment, you're only able to. Once you start, you only have a limited amount of items. And as you make, um, you go through the tutorials, you start designing, you start getting more and more items that you can um, populate your world with. Also, um, um, the, the, I don't know how it's going to be after the beta, but there's a uh, purchase. Uh, like microtransaction items that you can purchase I believe it's more materials and so as you're getting materials you're um, you ha you can populate uh, obviously you can populate your world more you also probably get new behaviors or you know way to, ways to do things and um, the thing after that Let's say you make your own world and you have it all nice and the way you want it. Somebody, if you allow it, somebody else can take that, your world, <clears throat> and expand on it. Either make it a, <clears throat> let's say you started out with a 3D world, um, fancy adventure. <clears throat> well, somebody else takes your world and turns it into a... Um, first person shooter in an adventure world uh, and then somebody else looks at looks at that and they say they want a sci-fi slash fancy world with a first person and third person shooter etc it'll like it'll keep changing and evolving and that's what's great about it I'm re I'm actually excited about this I'm not so excited about the microtransactions because I don't know how it's gonna work out after the beta but it's still pretty awesome um, this is like RPG maker 
Lux times 10. Because, uh, I, I mean, I, when the PS2 RPG Makers came out, I purchased every one of them that I could find. <clears throat> of course, I didn't make really good RPGs, but, um, you know, I tried. It was just so hard to make the the cutscenes and the dialogue and the advance. Oh, my God. But this tries to make it a little more easier to understand. So you don't have to put so much... Um, there's hardly there's n there's no um coding but there is uh you kind of have to set up the events and the events go by the words and items like the player should do this when this button is pressed the the land should look like this when this character reaches here or the camera should turn this way when the character fights, uh, finishes the boss or kills the boss, etc. You know, it just it gives you like uh, pieces of the words so you can uh, put them together, and that's your coding. That's your um, they call it a brain or something. And then each item or each um, character. Uh, it allows to give that and that determines the events the behavior I mean the AI and any other things um, it is just such a great um, in, the, in simplified form of coding and setting up events I, I am really looking forward to see what other people do actually I've, I've played a little bit a few of the games that people have made and I'm just like fucking sorry pardon my language amazed and I'll show them to you uh, some can be as simple as uh, a dragon flying in the sky and then you get to control them that's it others are as difficult and like complex as a whole town you know and uh, some people do only do the the behaviors or the AI for characters others just do um, backgrounds others just do uh, gameplay um, it's amazing what um, all these things combined can do and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to play some more. Um, I don't know how limited I am on the beta, but I know I'm limited right now on the amount of items I can use. But yeah, um, for the next video, I'll um, I'll show you some of the games that people made, and I'll continue uh, to show you. That somebody made a, a slender version of the uh, on this game and it probably didn't take that long to make all they had to do was set up a dark area put forest uh, and set up the mechanics it's actually pretty fun I, w although I think the only thing that is missing is the creepy music every time you know you find something uh, it's go it goes by coins that didn't have pages but coins every time you find coin it should like Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe or leave me a comment. What can I improve on? Or just your what's on your mind. And thanks again. Bye.